Hello and welcome to Civil Protocol. Today we are going to discuss about the quantitative easing. First of all, we will come to know what is quantitative easing, why there is a need of QE in the economy, and how does QE work. So let's just start with the definition of the quantitative easing. So quantitative easing, the word itself says easing of the quantity. Quantity of what? Quantity of the liquidity in to the market, which will lead to the quantity of the service right so the term quantitative easing became popular just after the recession in 2008 when the us uh, federal reserve system which is the central bank of the united states that applies this uh, monetary policy and conventional monetary policy within the economy just to stimulate its growth so quantitative easing is an unconventional monetary policy which is used to stimulate a slow economy or to speed up the economic growth by the central bank of the country like in india we have central bank uh, reserve bank of india rbi so uh, once the quantitative easing applied by the central bank of a nation the central bank will purchase the securities or the government bonds from the member banks from its member bank and in return the central bank will pay these member banks some kind of amount uh, when it's buying something from these banks so definitely it will have to pay something for this and uh, that amount uh, is to inject the additional liquidity into the national economy right so the government bank will be flooded by the money uh, by uh, central bank of that country so uh, in quantitative easing the new notes will not be printed instead of printing new money the central bank will increase the amount of their uh, account electronically right so that money will be created digitally into their account and uh, then it is uh, it will be provided to the banks so uh, after the central bank uh, has generated the liquidity into the member banks so they will have now the enough money to make more loans for the customers for attracting them by lowering the interest rates right so when they have the ample amount of money they are going to uh, attract them by uh, providing this uh, lower interest rates so definitely that that will lead to uh, buying of uh, more and more loans by the firms and the individuals so uh, now we will come to know that uh, why there is a need of uh, quantitative easing within the economy so uh, if there is a low liquidity in the financial system as they are already having stressed assets and they are uh, performing with the huge npa people are not paying money to them people are going through the losses and that money somehow was not submitted back to the banks so they are uh, not government banks are not having the uh, good amount of money to circulate in the economy so that will lead to the high interest rate and the less borrowing of the loans by the firms and the people will be the consequences of this system so the low productivity by the firms and the less expenditure of goods and service will be there definitely then there is uh, no expenditure by the firm so they will not produce uh, too much goods and services when there are no goods and services in the market and this will lead to the unemployment and then there will be slow down of the economy of the country right so uh, to stimulate this uh, slow system of the economy definitely then central bank of a country will have to do will have to perform some uh, you know operations to uh, scale up the economy so the quantitative easing is the alternate option for uh, boosting the economy of the country by the central bank of the country right in this uh, in this figure you will see uh, first of all there is a logo of united states federal reserve system Uh, it's the central bank as i told you it is going to buy the government commercial banks of the united states government bonds will be purchased by the federal reserve system in return it will fill the amount of the government securities which it had purchased from the commercial banks that amount will be transferred in the form of the electronic money like uh, electronically entry will be increased in their account and these banks will have the ample amount of money and then they are going to generate some new loans for the customers in the fourth image you can see uh, to attract borrowers banks lower the interest rates that they charge and then the 
businessmen and the firms and the individuals will be able to uh, take loans use that money into that uh, some more project of their domain suppose there is a construction company and it is uh, now taking loans because the banks are providing loans in low interest rate that construction company was waiting for uh, the money to come in the form of the loan and once the loan is sanctioned to that company it will use that money into the domain like uh, it will develop some uh, infrastructure projects and housing projects hospitals will be uh, made by the construction company then definitely there will be need for the raw materials steels uh, consumption of the electricity will be there uh, manpower will be required in that project so there will be overall development and growth and in return of that project they will uh, gain some uh, profit and the profit is again going back into the banking system in the form of the taxation and in the form of the savings of that company right so like this construction company there will be several other uh, sectors they are going to take loan from the banks and using that money into the development work so there will be a growth in a huge amount within the country so uh, that money is again going back in, into the economy and going to be circulate so it is the sign of a good economy of the country right so this is the process of the quantitative easing that uh, is used to a uh, overall growth of the economy now the quantitative easing was applied by the united states of america just after the uh, global financial crisis of 2008 so they try to stimulate their uh, economy and uh, it also affected the markets of the india and china because the investors and the banks also used that money or that liquidity on foreign portfolio investment uh, that is uh, in the share market of our country and as the investment is there in the share market there is a liquidity in the market share price will go up and the market will also go up so now the question is is quantitative easing is good uh, for stimulating the economy of india or country so my answer is no at this time uh, quantitative easing will not be effective function because only lowering the interest rate in our country will not attract our investors and if it attracts our investor to uh, take loans from the banks to use it as a development project so uh, it will lead to the higher inflation rate in our country so at this time the controlling of the inflation is the most important in this situation so it will not work that much effect in our country so it will create uh, some new problems so uh, finally uh, this was all about the quantitative easing and i hope you got the uh, lot of knowledge out of this video so i will create some more videos on different different subjects I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much